Hey everybody, Iron Toast here. Today, let's deal with this pesky yellow jacket that has unblockable specials in this month's quest. Alright, so I'm going to show you two different ways to take care of this yellow jacket in the quest. The first one I'm going to show you is Wasp. Wasp is kind of turning into a little starlet this, this month. Uh, so what it does is, the reason she's a good counter is because you can guarantee a heavy attack in the middle of your combo. I'll show you that here pretty early on. So let's get uh, bait out his heavy. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And you can hold and you can guarantee your heavy attack. Even though he's stun immune, the stun that she puts on him is a passive stun. So it acts a little bit differently. The reason the heavy attack is important is because once you knock him down, that allows you to get... A full you know segment of distance uh, that way when he's got his first bar of power you can stay as far away as you need so that you only got to back up one time to evade his special this requires a little bit of patience because once he has that bar of power you've got to keep that one segment of distance between you here we go with another heavy in the middle there got our distance and we got our evade there we go um, so what else do you have to deal with on this node um, he so he has the unblockable specials he's stun immune both those things are a pain uh, but he also has that gray countdown counter and, and basically what happens is is if when that thing counts down to zero If you have more power than he does he steals a bunch of your power um, it didn't turn out to be a, uh, a Real scary mechanic honestly in this fight. It doesn't really have too much of an impact as a matter of fact in some of the modes It actually kind of helps you get him From his special one to a special two, which is much easier to, to evade Anyway, um, so what I tried to do with Wasp here, another thing that makes her a good counter is she has her own power sting, uh, that, that's, which is good because he's constantly firing his specials. Uh, the one problem with that is it is difficult to save all the way up to two, bar, two bars of power in order to use your own special. Here we're playing keep away. He's kind of not giving up his special. Come on. There we go. Um, so basically... <clears throat> when she gets to two bars of power, you can use her special too, which is pretty strong in and of itself. Uh, but more importantly, um, it puts a power sting on, and he's going to use his special and take a lot of extra damage. So let's get out the special two here. Let's try and get enough power for that special two. I stopped him right before he got his special. There we go. Oh, dang it. He took my power right before it was ready. Let's see if we can... Okay, we should be able to get it this time. So we're going to attack. We're going to throw our heavy in at the end here. Get our distance. I've got mine ready. So if he throws his special, I'm ready to use my special too. There we go. And I'm not going to waste the whole combo to get it. I'm going to throw it pretty quick. So three power stings. He immediately loses his special and loses more life, which is nice. And this one's getting close to being over. So there we go. Some more distance. Um, probably not going to get this special off. Yeah, he's going to take that power. There we go. <clears throat> I don't even bother with my special one on this match. Just because I the, the two is what what's really worth using. And there we go. So 116 hits, Wasp. So it is a long fight. It does require a lot of patience. But it gets it done. The real thing with Wasp that makes it easy is that heavy that you can throw in the middle of your combo. That really makes the fight doable and a lot less frustrating. The second example that I want to show you is Beast, and I'm going to show you with Beast just because because I like him and I can do whatever I want, but most importantly I want to show you that this fight can be done based on skill, not just having a specific counter. Um, the reason I like to use Beast for this particular fight is number one, he does cause bleeds, right? And so if you don't get glanced, there's not really a good counter for glancing, right? But if you don't get glanced, he does have a chance to put a bleed which is good. Uh, original Black Panther actually works pretty decent on this fight too. Um, he does do direct damage when he's not glanced, which is good. Uh, but anyway, the main point of showing you this fight with Beast is um, I wanted to show you that it is possible without that heavy attack counter. All you need to really do is keep your distance. When I say distance, I mean it doesn't have to be all the way across the screen. It's just that one natural distance that occurs between the champions. You know, like if you were to let go of the... If you were going to let go of any of the attack buttons, they kind of run up to each other. There's that one, I call it the single segment of distance. It's one natural distance there. So once he's got a bar of power there, once uh, once he has a bar of power, you want to keep that one segment of distance between you. Um, another 
tactic you can use, if you're just going to do a straight up skill fight, right? Because you don't have Wasp or, or maybe Archangel or something. If you're going to do a straight up skill fight, then what you want to do is fire off as many of your specials as you can. Because it kind of gives you the same effect as that heavy. It knocks him down. That allows you just enough time to get that distance you need to really keep away from his special one. As soon as you take one special one hit from him... Um, that may not kill you, but if it doesn't, the Power Sting definitely will, or uh, the stun that comes from the Power Sting expiring, there's no way to, to last it out, even with your full limber, or even with debuff reduction, he's, he's just going to whack you. So, um, Continuing on with this fight, boy, he's glancing most everything here, I think, I think it's 80%, it's pretty crazy. But as you can see, you keep your distance and it's not that big of a deal. You have just enough time in the middle of a combo to dash back twice. And that, that is a little bit tricky. That takes a little bit of getting used to. But what you want to do is use as much power as you can. Or excuse me, maze those special ones as you can. And that's another way you can get your distance. As far as synergies, uh, for this beast battle, I used Black Panther so that he has that combo. Um, additional attack synergy as well as some combos to give more bleed damage. Um, if you were going to use another champ, somebody that you like to use a lot, I would definitely use some set of synergies that give you a ton of power gain. The reason is, is because the more special ones you can reel off, the more you can keep your distance. Absolutely. So we're going to wait out this special one here. There we go. Uh, I kind of missed my... Since he glances my first hit sometimes, I don't set off the um, combo that Beast does. No big deal. There we go. And this fight is done. So there you go. So there's two ways to beat the Wasp. Or excuse me, there's two ways to beat the Yellow Jacket in this month's quest. Wasp, Wasp I think, is a great counter because of the heavy that you can interrupt your own combo with. Uh, and the secondly, if you're going to use just skill to do this battle, keep your distance. Get a lot of power gain so you can throw as many specials as you can. Um, and be patient. You know? So those three things will really get you through this. So I hope these battles help. I hope this uh, that you have good luck trying to fight them too. And like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it, guys. And share this with your alliances. Talk to you later. Bye.